everyone, and welcome back. I was just out there and finished unloading the rest of that trailer of wood that showed up, and now, kind of a nice day. It's 28 degrees outside, and that's about as high as it's going to get today, but, but it's nice, and I want to cut a little more wood. It's going to be colder the rest of the week. Not super cold, but like tomorrow morning, it's going to be around zero. Not too bad for this time of year, but it's much nicer to do anything outside when it's above 20 degrees versus anything below 20 degrees. I only have about maybe a half hour to do this and then I've got to get ready to... I'm going to have to leave and run some errands. Looks like the blade needs to be tightened up a little. I've never had to tighten the blade on this yet, but I'm imagining that everything I need is in this bag. see the neighbors are getting both of their propane tanks filled up. That's got to hurt. <laughs> sure glad we don't have to do that anymore. That would be expensive. I need to go get ready to run some errands. Maybe I'll come back out to this later today. Good morning, everybody. According to my GPS, I have one hour and 45, 48 minute drive. But last night there was some ice and some snow, just light snow. But they said to be real careful because there's some real icy spots on the road. So it might take me a little bit longer than that. I'm driving from Cloquet to Siren, Wisconsin. Hopefully, I think as I get a little more south, the roads will be a little bit better. Pretty good, but I 
I'm still just ride, driving around 60 in a 70 mile per hour zone. People are passing me right up, but you just never know until it gets light out. You really can't see if there's icy spots or not. It's been a long time since I've been here. My grandparents on my mom's side this is where they lived, right here in this little town, and they had a little, like, 80 acres right up here, ways. and when I was a kid, this was our stopping ground. We'd come up here in the summertime, usually for a week or whatever. This road right here before this railroad tracks was a road that they lived on, and it's called Gale Road, because my grandpa's name was Gale. He would plow that road with the Farmall H and a bucket. We would walk up here to the railroad tracks and you'd get all the taconite pellets and we'd get a whole bunch of them. And uh, we would use them for slingshot ammo. <laughs> Just about to cross over into Wisconsin. I've never entered Wisconsin on this road before. I'm at the Burnett County Airport. The guy just met me up here now. I, I don't know if it's sitting in a hangar or what. I'm not even sure if I said in this video or if it was the video before this one that I just, uh, well, what I picked up was another Hoosier cabinet. This one is more rare than the other one and it really needs refinishing badly. And Melissa said we should probably get this because when I go in for my hernia operation, she said, I'm going to go crazy if I'm just sitting there doing nothing. So after a few days, I should be able to go out and start sanding on this thing. But it's a pretty cool one. I really like this one. It just needs to be refinished. I made it home. Now I have to go fill up the wood boiler because I didn't do it before I left. And now Zachary's coming over this afternoon to pick up George's old four-wheeler to clean the carb and stuff on that. He said he had to work overnight last night and then now he gets this week off. So he said he was going to sleep until 11 and then be over here mid-afternoon I think he said. Right now it is 1140. So I think I'll turn up the heat in the workshop, fill up the boiler, go in and have some lunch, and then maybe Zach can help me unload this Hoosier cabinet later. Busy day. Just remember, I wanted to go so bad I couldn't. We were living on Marble Street and he left, and then my mom went to the mailbox in my um, Kellogg's canteen. It was a plastic oh, one like this, showed up in the mail. I've been waiting for weeks. I carried that thing, had a little strap around my neck. <laughs> Here you go. You just got to unscrew it. It's got really cold water in there. What do you say, bud? You're welcome. This has a little bit more, well, it's probably the same as the other one, but uh, 
supposed to be cut out my food in the, the car too. Yeah. So why don't you go around the back side? And this is. different. The other one out there, it's cut into the wood. So it rolled top this way. Oh. This one, yeah, it was round and you pulled it down. That's I gotta cool. try to figure out how to make one of those. But see, that's your flour holder and it sifted it. And then you would fill up your flour. No idea what that must just. Oh, I see the whole thing comes out there to fill. That is so cool. You fill in your top, and then you can see how much you have in there. Which you can see it's been painted white, now yellow. Hmm, that is so cool. Four. These grates. I just don't think that they would put these little round things in there. Oh, yeah. I do think that there might have been a flour, uh, sugar thing in there. I just whatever that wood is, it's not oak, but it's got some pretty grain to it. But I think she wants to paint it. And one of her friends said, "Be careful! It's probably lead paint." It's like when we were kids, we were chewing on the window <laughs> sill. <laughs> 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 Razor blade probably used when they were trying to get the paint on. I was really worried that the drive home would ruin one of these panes of glass and then you'd have to switch out all of them. Yeah. So now it's going to be like I have to be, I'll probably pull all of these and pull the glass completely out and then refinish everything. Where is it? Over here on the table. All right, so let's go over here. Look over here. It's too big. Oh, you yeah. want the water, Zach? There's a couple more in there if you want one. Uh -huh. I think I'm all right right now. Oh, yeah, the chainsaw. I gotta figure out which one that is. That one, Daddy. Alright, let's go. It's only gonna go for your bread. Really? Yeah, yeah. Right? I want a couple cookies, Rosie. Mm -hmm. How could you even make it? I got the kale for yours. Yep, I need a for mine. I'll give you a whole roll, okay? Because you can't just make it on just one. <laughs> Not with that much water in your canteen. Up and it was a, it was the kind that didn't even have the tank, not an all-in-one. Oh, okay. that was the picture of it. It's like, <laughs> and now they've got pretty good, you know, directions. The best one is that snowmobile trailer right there. That thing I hooked it up this week, last night. And it's like all of it's, it's like just amazing. But it seems to work. What rose? Well, I've tried a couple times, but I've caught a thing, but there's always, the one time there was so much ice that I knew where I was going, I went through a tool. Oh, you yeah, this much water in the ice. Oh, it was like not very far out wherever I was.
It's about huh, probably four hours later. I'm just going to turn the heat down in here. Melissa came out here. We were out here for probably 45 minutes looking at that cabinet. Run it at 50. Stop it at 55. Ah. And looking at it, uh, now, you know, she's looking online. They're really hard. At first we thought it was a boon. And the reason why we thought it was a boon was because of these brackets on the side. According to the book that we have, boon, this is a boon bracket right here. Um, a seller's has just three of these, one here, one here, and one here, these ridges. And the boon had the two, one, and the two. But when we looked at everything else on here, it points to it being a seller's. And what I mean is, everybody calls these a Hoosier cabinet. But Hoosier was a brand name. That was the most popular. Then it was Sellers, then it was Boone, then it was McDougal, and I, there was there's another one in there too that it was like a hard name to pronounce. And then they had a chapter on there about a few other Sellers. But anyway, this, everything points to it being a Sellers, especially the etched glass. Stars in the corner and around, um, all we can seem to find is Sellers. So, it's really weird though, we can't find this exact one, we can find some really close to it, but not exact, and looking at the flower thing is here, the only thing missing on the flower is the cap, that, that caps it off on the bottom, and you can buy this whole, this, just this piece right here, 80 bucks, <laughs> but I said there's got to be, this thing still has flower in it. It needs a screen in there, but uh, Melissa was reading on a site and they said just put your own screen in. There's a metal ring in here. You can pull that out and then put your own screen in and snap it back down. But anyway, looking at it, I mean, it totally needs to be restored. And looking at, at it closer, this was left outside for a while. It's got wet. There are, are pieces of plywood that need to be replaced. In some, in some places, it's, it's absolutely awesome. But in other places, like uh, there's some bottoms of some drawers that need to be replaced, and it'll be fun. She does not like the look when it's natural wood, so it will be painted. I don't know what color she wants. I said I, I'm my vote is for this cream, whitish cream color that is in here, and when I said that, I got zero response. So <laughs> that tells you it probably won't be that. But it's neat. We look at online, and they had like a daily planner that you could put in here. There was a kitchen cook time thing over here. Uh, just some really, really cool stuff when you start looking at the history of these. We were looking in here because it's got, this is a metal drill, but it doesn't have the top. They had a piece of wood in here, and that piece of wood was actually the bottom of this drawer. And this here, I mean, it's cracked. I, I will, I'll replace this, but there, let's see if I can find. This one is in good shape, too. This one was in real nice shape. Now I'm not going to find one of them this bad. This one. See that? That's definitely gotten wet. So when the guy, when I was sitting there talking to him, and he's saying, you know, you can get, when these are restored, you can get like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600 for it. And he was kind of trying to talk me that way, like, these things are worth a lot of money. Well, and he said this sat in the house for a long time in his dad's house. He didn't say anything about his mom. But, uh, yeah, it would have been worth more money if it wouldn't have been left outside for a while. But I, it's something that's right up my alley. I can easily fix this up. But we couldn't figure this out because... This didn't have a top on it, and then she looked it up, because you can buy the top, or you can buy this whole metal piece, but it, it just has a slide on it, and I said, well, that's not going to work, because this metal is inside the drawer. It's not. This is the drawer, so when you slide the metal, you pull, the, the, pull this out, and then the metal slides back for the bread thing, and then you can slide it back forward, and it will shut the property down. I'm looking forward to finishing this off, and once I uh, have my hernia surgery, I should be able to come out here and sand away on this and 
I readjust the doors because this one you can see is off. It has to go down. I can easily fix all that. Yeah, I'm excited. And then we decided that th that one will go in here because this seemed kind of small and there wasn't room for more countertop. That, th that one comes all the way over to here, which will give her more countertop space in here. And this one will fit into the actual kitchen of the house because it's shorter. With the longer one, you weren't be able to, you couldn't walk between the center island and this thing, it got to be too tight with the long one. But with the short one, I think it'll fit in there quite nicely. And see this bracket right here? It has no ridges on it. That's a Hoosier bracket. They didn't have any of the ridges like uh, Sellers or Boone or McDougal. And I have a question because I realize that I have a lot of older people that watch this channel and right here where this wing nut is there used to be a meat grinder and all the pictures I look at it's like there's a block here that it it sat on somehow and then there was just a, a, a bracket underneath it that went to this to hold that up I can't you can find these restored pictures of them none of them have they all they had the the meat grinder was here, and there was a coffee grinder on the side here. Coffee grinder is easy to figure out, but I cannot figure this out because I can see that bracket coming up, but how did the wood block attach? Because if you've ever used a hand meat grinder, it takes a lot to use that meat grinder. So I don't think that a bracket coming off of one screw, screwed into the bottom of a block, I would think it would still move and you'd have a hard time. So if anybody can remember, Anybody had one, or their mom had one, or their grandma had one, or still has one, I would like to know more about this. I would like to get pictures or something showing how exactly that meat grinder hooked on there. I'm going to turn this one down too. It's already 10 minutes after 8, and I have a video that I've been trying to edit for 3 days. And then, what did I want to do this at? Run at 50 and stop at 55. Anyway, last night we watched ice fishing videos because we're gonna be, it's not that long, we're gonna be going up to Red Lake for the uh, Ice Castle Owners ICOG. Ice Castle Owners something. Ninth annual get together up there and so we were watching ice fishing shows of course and now tonight we're sitting there looking at all the pictures of the cabinets like that, so <laughs> I've got to get something done. Let me shut these lights off. It was super nice seeing Zach and Rose today. He grabbed that four-wheeler like you saw. He grabbed my chainsaw, the MS360, and I said don't spend a lot of time on it. Just see if you can get it to idle right. And if you can't, don't worry about it. I mean, I've got the new 291, I've got the 250, uh, but it'll give them something to tinker with. See, they didn't have any projects to do. And then we talked about diesel heaters and talked about this here. This is a warm bond. Remember the big stove that I used up at the tent to cook on in the deer hunting video, but I had the review video here. This is their mini. And uh, we, I didn't realize that it, you can run it on pellets, um, like liquid fuel, like alcohol, and then wood, and it's got the little attachments and stuff in it to burn like a, like a rocket stove wood with alcohol. And I didn't even realize that. I opened it up and Zach's looking at us again. Oh, that can run. So we looked at that for a while, and yeah, it was just nice to see him. I haven't seen him for quite a while. I guess I'll see you guys sometime tomorrow. Good morning everybody, 14 degrees, you're not going to believe it, but we actually are forecast to get snow uh, tomorrow afternoon into the next day, and depending on where you're looking at, if I look at the U.S. Weather Service, it's showing us in the, I believe, 3 to 5 inch category, which would be the first like real snow we've gotten all winter. 
or this whole entire season. I'm going to start my truck. I'm going to run up in to uh, Super One today. I want chicken for lunch. Haven't had that for a while, but my truck will have to warm up for at least 20 minutes. So I'm going to run out and cut some wood in that 20 minutes. So I'm not sitting around doing nothing. Just put some fuel in here and some oil. I love my new chainsaw. Messaging with Melissa. We're getting all excited about going to the Ice Castle Owners Group winter thingy. And uh, yeah, we're talking about it quite a bit. I cut a little bit longer than expected. That chainsaw gets a lot better gas mileage than the other one. I wanted this gone because if we do get, say we did get six inches of snow and I have to plow it, I want to be able to plow straight through here. And that pile was in the way. I told him to stay back with the wood, but he didn't. So that's cut up. Same within here. I didn't want any wood past the bottom ones so I can push the snow all the way back to the brush. With that new chainsaw though, it makes quick work of it. It makes it enjoyable actually. None of this was, was hard at all. <laughs> I actually enjoyed it. Well, I'm gonna head to Super One and get some chicken. I'd like to continue doing this, but I have to run into town. I gotta go to L&M, and get a drill bit for installing the sure step on the ice castle. I need to get some penetrating oil for, I, I just don't have any and I, the hitch thing on my black truck won't come out. It's too rusted in there. And then I have to meet this lady and get some raffle tickets for when we go to the ice castle thing.
Good morning, everybody. I thought it was morning. I just looked at my clock and it's uh, almost a quarter after 12. I'm gonna run in and do some lunch. Had a heck of a time getting that trailer out of there. That thing was froze in. I forgot when he brought it here, everything was thawed. And now I'm just getting this wood in there. It's supposed to be, my phone says light snow right now. It's misting out. It's been misting since I woke up this morning, which is like at, I don't know, 10 after five. It was misting out. So everything's got a coating of ice. And the snow is coming, depending on what you're looking at, it's going to be four to five inches, and the other one says up to an inch. So regardless, I want to get this in there, so if I do have to plow, I can push right through here. And the more wood in the shed, the better. I decided to just put that trailer right there. If he wants to come and get it after the snow, he can dig it out. I can't see it from the back deck right there, which is what I wanted. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. My camera has a complete coating of ice on it right now. Bring it in and thaw it out. I got all of that wood stacked up and I was going to cut a little bit more and then <laughs> I've really had enough with wood. Got the four-wheeler in the garage so if we do get a bunch of snow we can, uh, I can get the chains put on it and the plow because all that's in the garage. And now I wanted to get a little bit of time here before it gets dark on the fish house. Uh, since in a couple of weeks we're going to be using it, so yeah, that big get together is coming up. And I have new gas lines, and what I did, there's, I have one that's leaking, and we bought two 100 pound gas cylinders so that if we go out for a long period of time, which we could have this year if we would have had good ice, I doubt we're going to get any much time to do that. That's long enough. I ordered 18, 20 inch. That doesn't look as that must be the same as the other one, but uh, anyway, like the one leaks and I'll replace it. But on the you know pigtails, there's one here and then there's one over here for the second tank. That one I'm gonna put on, I don't know, I think this was a I don't know if this was a five or a four, whatever I could get. Five foot or so, 60 inch or I'll put this on there and that can hook up to a 30 pound tank or if we have, if we're going to stay out there for like a whole week then we'll just get our 100 pounders filled and then this is long enough so then I just unhook it and I can hook it up to a 100 pound cylinder. And then the extra hose, when you're not using the 100 pound cylinder you just wrap around your 30 pounder and it's not a big deal. And this will be my third attempt at getting the thing that plugs into my truck for all the lights, you know, trailer lights to work. And it's so stupid, I'm not sure, can you guys even see that? I got this picture off from the Ice Castle Owners Group Facebook page, because a lot of people have the trouble that I'm having. You know, you cut the end off. And then you, when you put the new end on, you think it's going to hook up the way it's supposed to, but no. So this is how it shows how theirs was. What is supposed to be blue on the thing for ice cap, or yeah, blue is blue. Ice, where they have IC, that's what 
ice castle does. So where the green goes brown, where the red goes black, this is supposed to be black in the center, that's yellow. This was supposed to be brown, it's green, yellow and it's red, white and white are the same. So blue and white are the only two that stay the same. Talk about a pain in the butt. Last time I did it, I don't know if you guys didn't watch that video or if I even showed that, I, I did it the way it's supposed to. I plugged it in. When I turned on the blinkers for the truck, all of my running lights on the, on the ice castle here were flashing off and on. It was so frustrating. I figure I better play around with the wire thing right now because looking at the the weather, you know, we got it's still misting outside all day long. The driveway now is like a skating rink, and even in the grassy areas, it's slippery. But you know, there's going to be some snow tonight, whatever. But after that, it's the cold front coming in, and we have highs that are going to be in like. 10 to 12 or something and lows are for here they'll go probably below zero uh, this is hard to work with small stuff like this without your gloves on when it's that cold at least right now I think it's like 20 degrees out there and I don't even know if this if this will work you <laughs> know this is my third attempt but we're gonna see I got all of those wires hooked up and I think they're upside down. <laughs> I'm done for, with that one for today. The only hose that I took off is different than the other three. I got all of these with a quarter inch, whatever it's called, and the one that I took off, I didn't look at any of the other ones, has a little piece that's a Go, it reduces down to the quarter inch. So now I'm going to have to go and uh, and get that little piece probably tomorrow or the next day. That's just my luck right there. Dang it. Anyway. Uh, at least I did the side that we're not using. That <laughs> I have nothing to say. Melissa just went out and started her truck at work and she said it is completely ice covered and she didn't think it was misting over there today you know she was inside her office and I said hey you're gonna have to really drive slow because it's gonna probably be nasty I think I'm done with this for today I think that's as much as I can stand I see the cameras getting all fogged up because I turned the heat up in here before I think I'm going to leave it on 50 tonight because tomorrow is movie afternoon. Yeah, I'll leave it there. What a day. Good morning, everybody. Looks like about three inches on the ground, still snowing. I don't think we have a whole lot left, but I don't know. It's right at that point where I'm probably going to have to plow it. I'm not sure yet. It's pretty warm this morning though. Last time I looked it was 30 degrees. So all of the asphalt roads should be clear. You know, once they plow it, it wouldn't take long to to melt that little bit of snow that would be left on there. came down to Super One here because Melissa's making lunch right now, which is shrimp and corn bisque, I think. But after, uh, later on tonight, or this afternoon, late this afternoon, we'll go out and watch a movie. I think we're going to watch Fried Green Tomatoes this time. And usually we have a whole bunch of chips out there and stuff for snacks, but now Melissa, since the holidays is done, are done, she is going back on her diet, so uh, she doesn't want to have chips and stuff. So I went and got some cheese and some salami, stuff that she can have. 
I don't know if she can have it all, but I bought it. <laughs> we'll see. She can eat whatever she wants to. for sure because it was snowing a little bit more last night and then looking at my phone it looks like we're gonna have snow one inch like tomorrow and then a couple more days there's gonna be one more inch if that happens I don't know but I don't have to plow that but if I don't plow some of this what will happen is instead of being three you know we got yeah yeah, probably three. They'll be like five inches on the ground, and then it's going to start to be a problem, so. more of this but there's way too much profanity going on. <laughs> well I hate putting on chains.
I had to plow all this out because until February 28th when fishing closes, anytime we need to take that ice castle, I need to be able to get it back in the yard. Uh, when I, we bought it and I brought it home, it was hard to get in here and then where do you park it? So I've got to keep this part plowed out so I have room to come in, back up, bring it back in or whatever I need to do. I won't, wouldn't be able to do this with 12 inches of snow. Probably not with the with the uh, four wheeler. I could with the tractor, but not if I don't have it already plowed out like this to start with. Melissa's cooking eggs and bacon or whatever for lunch, and she must have the fan on because it smells really good out here. I'm gonna run inside, get my fingers warmed up because my left hand fingers are froze and have some lunch. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.